I want more from you because I, I want your theological perspective <laughs> for this, like a spiritual, <laughs> a spiritual vein here. Uh, like I'm, I'm just very, very curious, like what these states are, mm -hmm. what they can be, mm -hmm. and how to hold them in a safe and beneficial way that, that also um, isn't blasphemous, doesn't doesn't <laughs> claim something that isn't its to to engender. <laughs> Maybe I mean to 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 just um offer some some fuel for this. Um uh I I I really like what you said Duncan that like you you are getting people to agree to the fact that they have to let hmm. the experience move through them, right? And 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 this relates to the question that I was going to ask about the body. Um it seems to me that uh, an essential element of tapping into this state of group flow is sort of um, releasing um, something within the body. Um, mm. uh, you know, because I, I, I was at your Creative Cauldron uh, in January of 2020, mm -hmm. um, and uh, there was this feeling of electricity that permeated um, the entire atmosphere. And as I'm trying to reflect now on what exactly that feeling of electricity was, um, what my mind is sort of, uh, I think, getting at is is this um, this this feeling of liberation within the body, mm. and that that connects a lot to the interactions that you and I have had uh, just one on one, where this very unique thing happens to me when you and I talk, where. Um, I can actually feel my third eye getting activated, and this hmm. is a very rare sensation for me. Um, and I can I can feel the rest of my body sort of clearing mm -hmm. as a result of that third eye activation. Um, and and so, um, it seems like there is a sort of jolt of energy that can be uh, supplied um, by these um, states of group flow um, that then courses throughout the body. Um, and this seems like um, complementary slash dual to uh, experiences that David and I have had recently with Qigong, actually, mm -hmm. um, where Qigong it seems to be from the from the two sessions that we've been to mm -hmm. about releasing tension um, within certain parts of the body. So there's the jolt of energy that the kinds of that the kinds of events that you create supply, mm -hmm. and then there's the re then there's the relaxing. Uh, of the body, mm -hmm. um, a relaxing of tension. Mm. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe these two things are actually indeed one of the same, um, uh, opposite sides of the same point. Well, the one is necessary for the other. Mm, yeah. So yeah. there's almost a Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which is a prerequisite for this this state to mm -hmm. reach critical mass within a group of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in my in my events, like I make sure that everyone has. First off, they're paying far less for the experience they're getting. So mm -hmm. they already mm -hmm. realize mm -hmm. there's m far more energy mm -hmm. that they're about to experience than mm -hmm. the ticket cost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not an anxious <laughs> experience. It's like a they're, they're already receiving a gift mm -hmm. to an extent. Like yeah. it's not an anxious experience of like, I need to get my money's worth. Right, it's like, right, a, yeah. wow, I was able to mm -hmm. actually find a ticket for this. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because there's, yeah. There's, 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 they've always been sold out. So some people mm -hmm. are actually not mm -hmm. right, getting right, to right, come right, 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 at mm -hmm. any given time. Which is like get your tickets quickly, like. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but there's 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 not like a FOMO or like the mm -hmm. fuck it won't happen. Yeah. But there's also like it's all you can eat and the food is better than they thought it would be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cooked with yeah. love. Yeah. And it's yeah, like yeah. whatever mm -hmm. whatever you want yeah. to yeah. drink or experience. Like the the larder that happens before the experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. People are really well taken care of. Mm -hmm. There's some really talented and big hearted and open people who mm -hmm. come. Mm -hmm. So people have already met like a new friend or somewhere mm -hmm. they're interested. Mm -hmm to connect mm -hmm. with right, or work right, with right. or maybe even date or something like mm -hmm. that like the, the set and setting of that comfortable field mm -hmm. is there and the place has been decorated with like utmost mm -hmm. care mm -hmm. you know it's like it's a really beautiful place mm -hmm. wherever it is and it's a unique place that has a lot of community vibes and a desire the place mm -hmm. desires to give as well mm -hmm. it's like part mm -hmm. of the ethos of the place mm -hmm. so wherever i bring people it's a well held place mm -hmm. it's not a it's not a predatory place it's not like a it's not a dirty place mm -hmm. it's it's not it's it's being held with like a deep clarity mm -hmm. and a deep will for connection mm -hmm. um and and furnishing someone's highest expression and that's all there before anybody shared any art mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um so so that warms up a group of people to connect 
Now, I mean, Kenneth, like the, the third eye opening um, that you experience, it's not anything that I'm doing as well. Mm -hmm. It's just like right. I... I love you and I appreciate your presence and your opening. I think you're a remarkable being. And so when I, on these rare occasions where I get to spend extended time with you, I'm just looking to receive hmm. as much of that hmm. presence as you're hmm. willing to hmm. share. Hmm. Hmm. Like I'm wanting to entrain myself hmm. with you and hold, just holding the doors open. Hmm. It's gentlemanly to hold a door. Hmm. And, and the hmm. doors hmm. of perception hmm. is gentlemanly to hold open the doors of perception. Mm -hmm. Like if there's a little bit of attention, you can either respond to that tension by closing the door hmm. or you can respond to that tension by holding the door open hmm. so that that tension can dissipate. Hmm. That is true on one-on-one -on -one encounters and it's the most beautiful lesson hmm. in a group. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is... Um, this is almost never spoken hmm. or taught. This is This is some cool stuff that is on the the fringe of my own growth mm. there aren't books about it because the books are so far from the center of the bell curve right, that they right. probably wouldn't sell too well mm -hmm. like you in in opening this kind of a space you're holding the doors open mm. for 50 or 60 or 70 people mm -hmm. simultaneously mm -hmm. but it's not mm -hmm. just you hopefully you're bringing like 10, 20, 30 percent of the audience mm. with yeah. their hearts open mm. who have learned how mm. to keep mm. their hearts open, to keep their bodies open mm. and who as a practice mm. actively are doing that for other people mm. in right. the room mm. in a consensual mm. way mm. in real time yeah. where their will is so beneficent that they mm. are acting as filters, like mm -hmm. cleaning mm. the space yeah. mm. with the mm. active connections mm. they're making in mm. real time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. In a state like that, I don't have to do that much. Mm -hmm. I just have to keep Keep the whole thing together, keep it mm. coherent, and just get empty, get open mm. personally. Mm. Mm. I've set up the theme for the event a month and a half. People are coming in costume. Many mm. of them have written poems for that event that mm. they've like really searched mm. themselves to to write and mm. bring. All I have to do is get empty enough to understand what the order of the performances is. Mm. Does it need to start light and go mm. up and then heat up from there? Does it need to start intense to like like what's what's mm. the field like yeah all the pieces are there it's kind of like lego bricks or something but you you arrange them in the right order so that there's there's mm. this kind of arc that's optimal for the growing of this this group that's so it's meta art mm. it's really really fun mm -hmm. it's really weird you can't actually predict it because like mm. who shows up and the the state of people that's there needs to be adjusted to in real time mm -hmm. and if you can sculpt the performers the performances mm. There's there's a theme and I'll always like do an ode to that theme, but I won't write a single word of that ode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That ode has to be brought in the moment. Mm -hmm. So with with these performances, um, and, and this is this is my this is my spiritual offering to mm -hmm. the world. Like mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. I price it. I pay artists as a sacrament. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it will be ceremonially mm -hmm. given to them. It might be a little bit less than they're mm -hmm. they're used to receiving because I. You know, we're also mm -hmm. doing the venue, mm -hmm. we're doing the mm -hmm. the food, the drink. But if I pay myself, I pay myself as an artist, mm -hmm. and I like, mm -hmm. I'll. It, it feels important to mm -hmm. to do it that way because it's like an offering back. Mm -hmm. You're building a group body. What do primates do? Like mm -hmm. when they see like a leader mm -hmm. primate, and when mm -hmm. I step up in the field, like I'm a leader primate, mm -hmm. they see is this is this is this monkey taking advantage of the group resources? Mm -hmm. Is this monkey like using their platform mm -hmm. uh, for financial remuneration, for mm -hmm. sexual favors, mm -hmm. for like all of the above? And mm -hmm. most of the people who have access to this level of energy uh, and creative capacity mm -hmm. are probably going to be tested or tempted in one mm. way or another mm -hmm. like as as a lead primate like with access to flow you're spiritually tested mm -hmm. to see if mm -hmm. you can handle that connection and that much of an influence mm -hmm. uh and and so that's another reason i think where there's not this much discussion on that like lead mm -hmm. primates mm -hmm. tend to like mm -hmm. uh their authority and power to be unquestioned or to mm -hmm. even subconsciously to have access to this mm -hmm. or just like are so humble that they don't put themselves in these situations to mm. bring these groups together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or it's 2022 and any attention is likely to be modulated <laughs> as negative attention <laughs> and <laughs> lead to black magical attacks on your character. <laughs> <laughs> very, very well-meaning, but <laughs> still black magic attacks <laughs> to get you to sit down and shut up and not share your light. <laughs> you know, So there's a kind of bravery to, to undertake such a thing <laughs> and to endeavor to hold 
that level of group integrity that can allow a group to release its tension mm. and come together and cohere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very, yeah. very, very high standards that are asked. And mm. I'm, I'm like, I'm very, very happy with my conduct in those events. And mm. it's, it's teaching me to become a better person outside mm. of those events too. Mm. You're the freestyle shaman. If that's the word. Oh, that's a very dangerous. <laughs> you're, you're not. You're not going to get me to publicly <laughs> agree to that mm. on this podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, but I endeavor for groups to come together yeah. and form a collective body. Well, shaman only in the simple sense of you holding the space and you're the main instrument of. If there's many instruments playing, you're the main instrument in within that group holding um, the space. I um, I I disagree. Okay, um, that's fine. <laughs> well, no, the, the the group is the main instrument. Right, right. Like right, all right, of us right, are the main right, instrument. Right. Like, right. and we're all endeavoring to be hollow tubes I for see, yeah. for mm -hmm. that spirit mm -hmm. to blow mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. And then it's just a matter of hope it, helping the space to unclog itself, so more yeah. notes are able to be played mm -hmm. at a higher degree mm -hmm. of nuance. Yeah. yeah so I, I've got a, a few questions on this. Basically, I'm just fishing for stories here. So, what from from how many events have you run at this point? Um, for ticketed events, I've done um, I've done five, so it's like largely a quarterly okay. thing for, and then there were uh, four or five behind that mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Like every every couple of months, mm -hmm. there was mm -hmm. one. Like when the hunger built up, so, yeah, yeah. it would okay. it would come together. And so uh, from 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 these uh, events, like can you give us some examples of moments, right, that, where, where someone has come up and either just done something extremely beautiful or, or had an experience that you think was extremely personally uh, healing or anything like that. Just to get, just to get a sense of it. A few uh, stories. Yeah, a couple, a couple of things. So um, the most recent one, there was, um, the, there was this guy, let's call him Cam. Mm. And he was like, so we, we had just done all of the, um, the slated mm. goals mm. from that event. We, mm. We'd done like the scripted programming. We had transitioned into a uh, free space with like a really amazing spoken word performer. And like, I was, I was just like, I, I had this feeling. I was like, I don't know why, but I just want to scream right now. Mm. Like, I want to yell and not mm. like a, like a spiritualized yell. Mm. Like, like mm. I'm in a men's mm. circle and we're mm. like letting our primer rage. Like <laughs> I just like, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and like mm -hmm. let loose a little bit. And then like, you know, mm -hmm. turn turn that back into. I actually like turned it into like, and you can tell everybody <laughs> this, this is, is your scream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so just like to to massage it a little bit to mm. make it a little less jarring, but mm. it was so strong within me that mm. I wanted that. Mm. And then I looked like looked around. And I looked at this guy and was like, Yeah, you mm. brother, mm. it's okay. Mm. Like this is safe. Mm. Like mm. let it out because it was. It, it was almost like it was his mm. yell that I was yelling. Mm -hmm. and it went into this like held space and he mm. did it. And then that connected to like another person who had a lot, a lot another wow. guy who had a lot to release, but he felt constrained mm -hmm. by the culture. Mm -hmm. So they're both mm -hmm. like holding each other by the shoulders, looking at each other in wow. the eye and full on like wow. yelling wow. at each other, just yeah. like melting. And then that yeah. second guy came to me after the event. He was mm -hmm. like, I don't know if this is mm -hmm. the venue or not. Cause like the, you know, yeah. This this pretty powerful sacred geometry came to mm -hmm. me after the mm -hmm. event. It was like mm -hmm. there was some red and black energy at that event. It's like I know. Mm -hmm. He's like, did you do trauma release? I was like, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's like let's clean it together. We can, you know, I'll yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll whitewash it. I'll scrub the <laughs> floors, like whatever you need. But like this guy was like, even if this isn't the venue, even if you never do it again, please do it somewhere. Mm -hmm. This was so mm -hmm. opening and yeah. liberating for me. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. going through such a heavy time, and mm -hmm. I just needed that, mm -hmm. and that helped me breathe again. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. there, there was another thing, the one in New York, um, I had a vision before it started of this all black figure, mm -hmm. like vomiting rainbows hmm. <laughs> vomiting rainbows hmm. so it was and i i ordered a, a morph suit on amazon it's like fully black like no head it's just like that creature mm. from spirited away that's like mm. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and i i ordered a set of 40 yard long magician's handkerchiefs mm. and so we before the event we knotted them all together mm -hmm. shoved it in the belly of this like beast and so it has a huge distended belly mm. and it's like all black mm -hmm. and two in the morning after like this is like five hours into the yeah. event it's a crazy thing like after the sound healer plays like people are about going to sleep because mm. like he did a good job as a sound healer and it's mm. 2 a.m so it's like mm. 
<laughs> the singing bowls are being played like the mm. this creature comes in just like shrieks just like there's there's an opera singer who's also a sound healer who is there and she just like let out this piercing shriek mm. the creature is there knocking over the lights like mm-hmm. like making lewd sexual gestures to the audience like it is the shadow it's like wrecking shit wow. and then this this woman like brings a drum the one who shrieked catches me in a circle of protection, hands me a pair of scissors to hmm. cut out hmm. the mouth, oh my God. and then I start pulling these magician's handkerchiefs. Huh. Mm-hmm. I talk a shit ton, obviously, huh. as you know. I was completely huh. silent for this huh. thing, huh. but like pulling it out of my mouth and it feels like I'm vomiting. Mm. So I'm mm. making these like vomit motions wow. and like it's going through mm. me like something wow. is being pulled out as like mm. one color after another wow. after another is being pulled out wow. she's improvising a song um the the root of which is thank you for letting me heal you mm. and she's doing that to this character for me but apparently like we got a lot of ayahuasca people in the <laughs> audience uh-huh. they were going through flashbacks of their ayahuasca yeah, yeah, yeah. trips wow. yeah, 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 while this yeah, being yeah, is like yeah. pulling vomiting yep, yep. in yeah, pain yeah, yeah. 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 tries to shove it back in its mouth nope mm. she she alters her improvising song to stop it from shoving the mm. trauma back in its own mouth mm. uh tries to hang itself mm. the black wow. creature with wow. the vomited handkerchiefs wow. that are knotted wow. together she brings him down from the edge yeah. and it takes five full minutes to pull the 40 years of wow. yards of handkerchief wow. half a yard after half a yard out of the mouth Same of this creature mouth. while she's banging the drums and singing Jeez. and like the we had more performers i actually suffered for this because like there were performers who i had scheduled mm. Thing While I was doing yeah. that, the sound guy picked up the speakers and took them home. <laughs> like, <laughs> the night was over afterwards. The whole thing uh-huh. like ended in a group hug, and during the group hug, I took off the morph suit, so I was just like naked uh-huh. on the stage uh-huh. at the end, uh-huh. like uh-huh. Yeah. end of night. <laughs> yeah. And and um, you know there there's th- these kind of events mean a lot to people. So mm. if if you tell them they're going to play and they're not. You're gonna lose a friend there, yeah. mm-hmm. so you got to be really tight with the schedule. You got to mm-hmm. like make sure that there's space for everybody that you have told yeah. there to be space for, yeah. and they've yeah. brought friends, and they're they're waiting to perform yeah, yeah, on yeah. this kind of a scene. Yeah, 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 the yeah, infrastructure yeah. and holding it is so crucial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The integrity of the intention behind it, the conduct of people who are there, the integrity of the venue, the the scheduling, the quality of the food, like all of it needs to be there. Mm-hmm. If you miss like two mm-hmm. things, it's not going to cohere mm-hmm. in this, this way. Mm-hmm. But if you hit it all, it's not classifiable mm-hmm. and the energy mm-hmm. becomes shared. You, you get a group mind constructed with the positive art and the intention mm of these magical people who are who are magnetized to mm. the event like these are people who who have deep spiritual practices mm. mm-hmm, they've mm-hmm. they've developed certain cities and if you form a one body you start mm. getting the capacities mm. of one person blending into the next wow, wow. blending yeah, into yeah, the yeah, next yeah. and that yeah. mm. that's why mm. i do it like mm. why did i leave finance why didn't i just like keep doing the effective altruist thing and like maximize my Mm. lifetime earning potential to Mm. reinvest in some kind of like beneficial thing Mm. to like reduce the risk of Mm. ai Mm. destruction Mm. or something like that (laughs) um well it's it's mainly because i believe like the the biggest x risk amelioration the biggest way to ameliorate risk of extinction via environmental degradation Mm. or nuclear destruction or ai taking over people Mm. is to strengthen the group body Mm. of humans Mm. to strengthen Mm. the capacity for positive coherence Mm. and at these higher levels of manifestation you can Mm. literally get a group body with the access of the collective spiritual practice Mm. of these artistic self-creators you can actually tap into that And in a non-parasitic way, where the whole is greater than the sum of the parts, Mm. have this overflow from person to person to person, if it's well held. Mm. So this is the vision that I've had. This is like the the footstep into Elysium, Mm. into kind of paradise that 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 I've seen. The true flower of life, a Mm. a true tongue of flame, like Mm. a true. It's there, and so. I'm just listening and following where it leads, and I hope that more people can learn how to do this in their own mm. way wow. so we can create these magic carpets mm. based on the shared threads of everybody mm. Mm. who's there. This like shared nervous system, it's the most intimate thing in the world and mm. needs to be held with the most respect mm. in the world. Mm. How long have you been doing this for? So two years, you said, uh, before COVID? Uh, yeah, so uh, I think the first one was in... Re- the, the first 
one with this effect was mm. very early 2019. Oh wow, so it's really new. As it's in, just it's a new art that you have uh, curated after your training and your education and the experiences you've had. I was yeah. I mean, 2012. I was my my spiritual journey started after a massive like nearly fatal mushroom trip hmm. in 20, 2007. <laughs> yes, yes, mm. nearly mm. fatal because I took 12 grams mm. in an unfamiliar city. Mm. I lost my mind afterwards. Mm. My aura mm. was blown away. I was like visited mm. by like nasty mm. spirits that were mm. a projection of my own subconscious. See, like yeah. mm. it was like six mm. months of nearly mm. suicidal depression. Mm. 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 And then mm. I learned how to meditate. And I was on antidepressants. My energy went way up. Mm. This is like 21 suicidal, near suicidal depression, 22 mm. hypomanic remove, mm. like wow. needed less and less mm. sleep, mm -hmm. could go for miles, was mm. going to spontaneous yoga poses, mm. was feeling energy course through my mm. fingers, was like mm. building, like just leading spontaneous parades mm. of like 50 people down the streets in New York because they mm. were feeling mm. the vibes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and my poetry was great. It was getting better and better. And then it started getting worse mm. and mm. disconnected because mm. I had no foundation. Mm. taking advantage of other people just mm. my energy was in irresponsibly like passing over into others because mm. i had no teacher mm. i had no mm. understanding of like mm. what the right boundaries should be mm. i was just like i will just mm. love everyone mm. into existence mm. kaboom mm. and um it also brings up people's traumas and then those get projected back on you if you're yeah. not skillful yeah, yeah. about handling it so like i ended up joining like a spiritual group in indonesia very high demand you call it a cult you can call it whatever you want mm -hmm. <laughs> but mm -hmm. that energy was enough to offset the psycho the um psychiatric medications that were given to me mm -hmm. when i was 22 to mm -hmm. get myself back in the sheep pen mm -hmm. of society you know and not disrupting anybody as mm -hmm. they went around their productive and reproductive cycles mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and i was able to meet somebody who was like similarly unhinged and like blasted the energy off of that Mm -hmm. And then after a couple of years, my nervous system couldn't handle the constant mm -hmm. overload mm -hmm. from that mm -hmm. person and mm -hmm. their conditioning. Mm -hmm. But I, I kept the capacity to tap into the energy mm -hmm. and feel it. Only this time it was regulated. Because mm -hmm. in that group, I'd experienced higher highs than mania and lower lows than depression mm -hmm. induced by that teacher. Mm -hmm. yes. So anything that was endogenous in my own system mm -hmm. was now child's play, mm -hmm. which meant mm -hmm. I could <laughs> reroute <laughs> those catastrophic energies into art mm. or into holding other people mm. like yeah and, and then that that becomes like so am i going to replicate those patterns though am i going to mm. become a cult leader am <laughs> i going to become like th this that and, mm. and the other thing am i going to use it to become like a, a hedge fund kingpin or like mm. what am i gonna <laughs> what am i gonna do with that and this is a big mm. question that everybody has. Once you've actually broken through to an extent to the other side, mm. I still have some trauma to clear for sure. Yeah. And like, yeah. you're going to get clear about that? Or are you going to yeah. use it? I anyway, that's this is what I'm doing with my opening and my activation. I'm mm. learning a lot. And I'm, I'm definitely healing a lot yeah. myself and, and, and patterns. And, and But the, the thing is, like, Thank you guys for opening the space for this podcast. Mm -hmm. Like I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. It's it's a lot of me talking, and that's totally fine. Yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we're interviewing you. It's, you have a lot uh, to tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, it, and the art is unsuccessful mm -hmm. if it doesn't leave people feeling like they can do it, like mm -hmm. they can share mm -hmm. their own voice. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know. If mm. if if I speak the tongues of prophecy, mm. you know, mm. and and can move mind and matter, I'm paraphrasing. But if mm. I have not love, I am a clashing gong or a clanging cymbal. You know, mm. like mm. it's not. If it doesn't actually get people resonating together mm. and sharing their actual self and not mm. just a version of me, mm. it's, it's no good. Mm. That doesn't work in in this new millennia. It's just more narcissistic, like pop music to mm. to feed. The machine and I, I will go one step further because I think sure. the nihilism that people feel around the world the sense of meaninglessness mm -hmm. is not actually them mm -hmm. I think it is the field is the energy being of like mm -hmm. world capitalism mm -hmm. in its, its death throes and its mm -hmm. current state mm -hmm. that is infected mm -hmm. people's minds mm -hmm. and so they are mourning for its passing mm -hmm. in <laughs> in advance mm -hmm. like there there is another mythology that is bubbling and that mm -hmm. wants to be born mm -hmm. yeah we need to make the space to give birth for that rather mm -hmm. than mourning something that isn't even us mm -hmm. and anyway I, I i digress there but like i just want to use my life to help give birth to something that's beautiful and that's always been there 
something beautiful you said um, which resonated with me was was you talking about your struggles and how deep you went to uh, to darkness uh, you lost your mind you found yourself lost and um, you, you dealt with those challenges in really dark places uh, in spiritually dark places and I think um, Carl Jung says something really beautiful which came to my mind as you were talking about this which was that something along these lines that unless one's root reach into hell you cannot reach into heaven and I think your your current talents and your amazing abilities and you, where you are right now what you can do with your creative talent um, I think if you look back they wouldn't have been I think if you look back they wouldn't have been you wouldn't have been where you are without yeah. the struggles you had so it's kind of seeing maybe the positive of struggles and being really in spiritually challenging places you know for you for the new creation that you are now to to come forth through um, it's a beautiful beautiful story man thank you for sharing it with us yeah yeah well i mean that's the thing like it's not about trying to kiss the ring it's not about all of the accolades the show big brings it's it's not about finding the space right here it's about getting the vibes and sluicing them crystal clear not because you gotta be perfect but because it's worth it not because it's absurd no because it's a true fit see the shoe fits and you walk a mile in it and then you can share it to other people so that they can begin it yeah they begin to find the journey to their heart begun to find the sacred path the sacred art it's not about a math that lives in the head it's it's not about some book that you wish that you read. No, you are the book. The book is open wide. It's open and outside and you understand the vibe because you know that you're alive. Yeah, you got it too and share it. Ali, you can bear it. We don't have to truth or dare it, but I know that it's bigger than your flow. So come on and let it go, loco. Hey, yeah, chilling with the boys. I have to go on the mic. Yeah, I have to try to get into my psyche. Yeah, I'm gonna freestyle freely. Yeah, I just listened to a story from Duncan. Yeah, it was beautiful. I got bars plentiful. Yeah, it's stored in the deepest side of the, my mind. Yeah, me and my words together we bind. Yeah, we binding. Yeah, we freestyling. Yeah, we piling up words together we piling. Yeah, you know, we doing this truly. You know, we care about better things than the booty. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> That's right, better things like what? <laughs> <laughs> better things like spiritual wealth. Better things like using nature to boost our health. Better things like community, togetherness. Better things like consciousness, unity. Yeah, like the hive community, we gonna be together. Yeah, if something comes in a rodent, we gonna sting it. Yeah, we gonna go and bake it. We gotta go and destroy it. Hey, I passed the mic back to the man. Yeah, yeah. hey. We destroy and we create. We gotta love beyond the hate, but there is no dictatorship. There's only the flavor and the mothership Beam me up, beam me up, beam me up Let's go, we can lose it, we can make it We can lose control, we can use each other Use the mic and use the life We got to come and then survive Now we are thriving, we are gonna live it We can take a little bit and we know that we like it Yeah, you can ride it like a bicycle And mic is full, yeah The mic is full of the water of the life And the cyclone lose control And spin, 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 spin to your mortal soul Ha, it is a Immortal, if you're letting it go, you let go of the mind and you find you seek what you know that weak, yeah, weak and strong. We can go for the weekend, seeking it long. We can go and elevate from the throng that is innovative between right and wrong. There's mm. a non dual vibe, there's a non dual heart, and it beats and it beats from the very start. And you know, it's not just a character or part, it's the one in the whole, it's the whole for the art, it's the one for the all, it's the all for the one. If you understand, then the starting gun and the race is here and it's crystal clear so look in the mirror but make it appear and find your whole crew and do what you came to do and be loyal loyalty too because the loyalty brings safety the safety brings trust and the trust brings something beyond dust to dust it mm. brings the eternal brings mm. the eternal you got the stuff it's not just a urinal the fountain of life and the fountain of youth you mm. are the truth so come be the proof so come be the fruit so come be the flower do it right Right now, do it right now, this hour, yeah, and empower yourself to make true. Create your art and then do something new. Mm. Create your heart and let it beat the truth. Create the truth and let it find the proof. The 
proof is in the pudding The pudding is the dessert And you finish your dinner And I don't care if it hurts Yeah, you can reverse the hearse Reverse the flow of time The entropy rewinds You don't have to listen to third or Second law, third eye Social, social dynamics Thermo, baby Heat it up and let it go And maybe we can let it grow Let hey, it all explode hey, 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 Get that down Duncan. low Amazing, Love man. you, dude wow. Love you too, man Come here. Yeah, bring it in. Bro, what a blessing, man. Amazing. That was amazing, bro. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. That was really good. Thank you. And it's on wow. the verge. Wow, wow. Wow. <laughs> uh...